Adultery has broken more promises, shattered more vows, wrecked more families, broken more hearts than almost anything else. And yet adultery is something that can be avoided. We see that in the book of Proverbs in the seventh chapter, which I will now read. My son, keep my words. They will keep you from the adulterous woman and from the wayward woman with her seductive words. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house at twilight as the day was fading and the dark night set in. Then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute with crafty intent. She took hold of him and kissed him, and with a brazen face, she said, Today I have fulfilled my vows. I have food for my fellowship offerings at home. So I came out to meet you, and I found you. I have covered my bed with coloured linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, alos and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be back until the full moon. With her persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose. Now, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her path. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. It's self-explanatory, isn't it? So what do we learn? What's the big takeaway we get from Proverbs chapter 7? Simply this. The path leading to adultery is travelled by those who do not seek wisdom from God.